my name is Jessica and I have no idea what I'm doing. Today I'm going to be testing out the Wet n Wild Nautical Nonsense palette, the Spongebob collaboration palette. Did I need this? No, let's not talk about it, okay? I kept telling myself I didn't need it, but I love Spongebob and I love colorful things and people kept putting up like swatches and pictures of the palette and that's not right. You should take responsibility for your own choices. So those people should have taken responsibility and not tempted me with this palette. I'm hoping it's good quality. Um, I like the colors uh, now that I see it like in person because I have to say the first time I saw this uh, online, I didn't think the colors were very SpongeBobby. Uh, they still could be better, but they're nice. And they have little, look at the little imprints. <laughs> look at the Krabby Patty and, and the flowers. That one's a jellyfish cute but like i said i hope it's good quality because i have not been impressed with wet and wild palettes in quite some time i'm going to start with my dollar store brush and this like pale matte cream shade called mayonnaise <laughs> that's funny seems okay i'm going to set my eyeshadow primer with this and create a base as per usual this eye is primed the other eye is not to see if there is any kind of difference. Quite powdery. Then I'm going in with my Too Faced Mr. Right Blender brush, basically a fluffy brush, and I'm going to go into this matte orange with the Krabby Patty on it called Pretty Patty, considered a face pigment. Not for use around the eyes. Yeah, I'm going to do it anyway. Do that at your own risk. Most of the time I don't have an issue, so I do it. This is going to be my transition shade. I'm a little surprised that this isn't blending super easily um, because I already set my eyeshadow primer and created a base, but whatever, it's not terrible. Then I'm taking my Ivy White crease brush into this um, Plummy brown, I guess, with a tiny bit of gold sparkle in it. I don't think the sparkle is going to stay. That's called Gare Bear, also not intended for the eye area. This is going to go in my crease. You know what, now that I think about it, I did like that Wet n Wild Ice Cream B palette. I forgot about that one. Before that, though, not impressed lately. This one's actually blending quite nicely. I feel like I kind of lost the orange a bit, though. So I'm going to go back in, but with my BH Cosmetics brush with a three on it. Let's see if I could pull... No, I ruined it. <laughs> oh no, that was too much. But now I got to do it to the other side. And I'm going to clean that off and try to blend this out a little more. I'm so mad. This part right here is not going anywhere. I ruined it. I'm going to take that same shade and I'm going to put that on my outer third. I can see a little bit of the sparkles this way, but I don't know if they're going to stay put. Probably not. Okay, then I'm going in with this like shimmery berry magenta color called Jellyfish Jam, of course. Let's see. I don't know. I'm going to put this in the middle. I usually don't have luck with these kinds of shades. I don't know why. I'm going to blend it into the matte shade. Not really that shiny. Then I'm going to take this yellowy gold here called Square Pants, of course. And that one I'm going to put, ooh, that's pretty, on the inner third and blend it inward. That one's pretty. I feel like that one's a different texture. And I also feel like 
packing that with my finger worked better than swiping. For the lower lash line, I'm taking my BH Cosmetics brush with a five on it, and I'm just gonna mimic what I have on the lid. So starting with that Gare Bear shade on the outer third, then Jellyfish Jam in the middle third, and of course, blending them together. I'm really not happy with that one. I'm gonna take some on my finger and see if I can get it to show up a little better. Better, but still not what I want. And then square pants on the inner third. Nope, that one is needing a finger as well. To finish off, I'm gonna go into this really, really pretty looking shade here. Can you see how bright that is? It's like a white cream shimmer and it's called Tartar Sauce. I'm gonna take that on my dollar store brush. Maybe. And use that as a brow bone <laughs> highlight. That is very pretty and bright and sparkly. I'm also taking that on my Moda contour brush to see if I could use it as a face highlight. Yeah, it's there. I'll take a picture in the natural light so you could see better. So it's pretty. I don't know if it screams SpongeBob, <laughs> um, except for the golden shade. Eh, maybe like a neutral twist on SpongeBob, like a little bit of color. The mattes were okay. Um, the shimmers, not thrilled with so far. So hopefully that will change when I test out the other shimmers. All right, so actually, despite me not being too thrilled with some of the shades, um, both sides wore really well. They wore basically about the same, which is pretty impressive. Today I'm starting with my dollar store brush again, and I'm going into mayonnaise. Same thing, setting, creating a base, and this eye is primed, the other eye is not, just to keep testing that out. Then I'm taking my BH Cosmetics brush with a three on it into this one here, like a Melanie Pink, called Sea Star. Perfect, that's the color of Patrick. And it's not supposed to be used on your eyes. I have not had a problem with this particular palette. This is going to be my transition shade. I'm trying to do this fast, I'm on my way to work. I really don't have that much time to film anymore now that I'm working, and it's so sad. I don't even have time to like put on makeup in the morning. This is taking a risk. Next, I'm taking my IBY crease brush into this brown with, it looks like it has a tiny bit of shimmer in it maybe. And that's called Load of Barnacles. That's funny. That is going in the crease. This is a load of barnacles. I'm taking that same shade and I'm going to put a little bit on the outer third, outer corner of my eye. Then I'm going to take this very pretty green shimmer called Me Money. That's funny. That's, <laughs> that's intense. Let's see. Oh, nice. So this is going on the, I guess, outer half-ish, blending into the brown. I feel like, honestly, this one's going to be a little messy. Like, it might spread. We'll see. But maybe I also put too much. I kind of dug in there because I was expecting it to not be too great <laughs> like those other shades were. I feel like it's already making a little bit of a mess, so I'm just taking my clean IBY crease brush, fixing that up a little bit before I go into this pretty chartreuse called Best Day Ever. 
not the best shade ever. I'm going to put that on the inner third to inner half. And blend that into the green. So what's happening is, wherever I use that, it's not that pigmented. And then when I try to blend it into the green, the green is basically taking over. And honestly, that's not the green's fault. <laughs> that's the chartreuse's fault. All right, that's all I have time for this morning. Off to work I go, and we'll see how it wears. All right, so the last look kind of wore well, but that deep green shade, Me Money, definitely did start spreading around. Um, the I feel like the lime green shade did improve, and just like I said in another video, I feel like maybe as the day went on and like my eye oils kind of mixed with it and made it a little more pigmented, a little more slick, it kind of looked better. Still not as pigmented as I wanted it though. Today I have both eyes primed because I'm going to try the glitters and I want to try one with a glitter primer and one without. I already set my eyeshadow primer with this shade here, mayonnaise again, and I'm taking that same old fluffy brush and I'm going to go into Howdy Y'all, which is this tan but almost like a peachy tan, and that's going to be my transition shade. Like this one has to be built up. It is quite light though. I feel like this one's not going to show up on anyone deeper than me. Unless it's just going to be a blending shade. Then I'm taking my IBY crease brush into a load of barnacles like I did the other day. And that's going to be my crease and outer third shade. I'm just going to blend that a little bit to make sure it doesn't create a harsh line when I put the glitter on top in case the glitter doesn't blend that well. Alright, so I'm going to start with Absorb the Love, which is like maybe a rose gold glitter. Pretty. I'm going to put that in the middle. Try to blend it into the brown. Mm. I feel like at least it's pretty even, but it's not very opaque. Then I'm going to take Order Up, which is like a golden glitter. I feel like it has a little bit of brown and a little bit of green in it though. pretty. Now I just put my NYX glitter glue over here and I'm going to repeat the process on this side. Maybe a little difference once I build it up. Then I'm going to take this interesting shade called Shady Shoals. It's like a champagne but like with those white like sparkles in it but it's they're kind of iridescent. I'm going to put that on my dollar store brush as my brow bone highlight. Ooh, yeah. It's more, um, hmm, it's more like an off-white iridescent shade. Very pretty. That's all I have time for. I have to go to work. <laughs> um, so I'll let you know how this wears. Alright, so yesterday's look wore pretty well. It wore better on the non-glitter glue eye than the glitter glue eye, so that was interesting. 
It did um, spread a little bit and maybe like wear a little bit, but I feel like it was still like wearable and pretty good at the end of the day. Like it wasn't that noticeable and it had kind of done so like evenly. So for the last look, I'm gonna use that same fluffy brush and go into this one with a Krabby Patty on it called One Eternity Later. That's so funny. Ooh, it's very powdery. And that's going to be my transition. I feel like this is more pigmented than the transition I used yesterday, actually, even though this is supposedly lighter. This kind of looks like a burger bun uh, color. For a neutral, I like that. Then I'm taking my IBY crease brush into this deep, I think it's a deep purple. It's called Secret Formula. And I'm gonna put that in my crease. I'm gonna clean that off and just try to blend that out a little better. Taking that same shade on my pinky and putting that on the outer third of my eye. Maybe it's a deep blue? I don't even know. I feel like it's not just black. Then I'm taking my BH Cosmetics brush with a 6 on it and taking that same shade, just closing the gap that I made by accident. Then I'm taking this very pretty blue shade called Bikini Bottom. I have a feeling that's going to be like the green me money shade. This is going in the middle of my lid. Very pretty. You know how I love blue eyeshadow. And then I'm going in with this like light blue silvery shade called Eye Eye Captain. Ooh. Uh, that's like kind of sheer. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna put that on the inner third and blend it into the blue. pretty though. Then I'm gonna take, what's that called, tartar sauce, and I just want to see if I can, like, make it a little more intense if I apply it with my finger as a brow bone highlight. Yeah, and then I think I want it as an inner corner highlight as well. A lot of fallout though, like the sparkles with these shades. All right, I like that. I think that's really pretty, actually. I don't know if any of this screams Spongebob, but I like this one a lot. I have to go to work. Uh, I'll do swatches when I come back. All right, so the eyeshadow has been on for about eight hours. I just came home from work, and I think it looks really good. Uh, I would say that's one of the pros to this palette. I really haven't had any creasing or fading or m much moving around. Um, the green one moved around, the glitter moved around, but other than that, everything's been fine uh, in that department. I'm going to do swatches. The colors, the colors are okay. I feel like they could have been better for SpongeBob. I don't know why I just showed you uh, a blank wrist. <laughs> I didn't have any swatches on it yet. Um, I think the names are really nice. I think the little designs are cute but some of the shadows I feel are not as pigmented as I want them to be or as shimmery as I want them to be so I don't know I think for me uh no more wet and wild for a while because it's been a while since I've been impressed by wet and wild the Ice Cream Bee palette was nice, but I feel like it's kind of inconsistent. Um, I think Hip Dot did a better job with the formula and color selection when they did their Spongebob collection, um, even though I think this one did better with the names. And like maybe matching names two shades. But quality definitely better. 
in the hip dot one. That being said, I mean, it's not a bad palette. It's kind of an okay palette. The mattes are fine. Um, and I mean, it wasn't that expensive. I think it was maybe $15. So I guess it evens out for like the shades that I did like. Now that I have them, I paid $15 for them. And like they have, you know, cute little SpongeBob on it and the little SpongeBob decorations. So I don't think I got a bad deal, but I don't think it screams Spongebob and I'm not like 100% impressed with Wet n Wild now or as of late. All right, that's it for today. I hope you have a good day no matter what it is you're doing. Bye, see you next time.